this with y'all. You can too. You can do it. You can do it. Everybody's you can favorite do it. person is back on the podcast and he's going to be in town pretty soon. It's this. Oh my God. This pretty person. soon. They're pretty soon. Very soon. Oh. Actually. It's very vague. Oh, all right, all right. Hold on. Let's get, this out, let, let's get this out the way. Um, I was late to the podcast because I was taking a shit and scrolling on Instagram. Oh my God. Okay. And um, thanks for sharing. Apologize. I don't apologize for that because come on when nature calls. It's your fucking cause. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, nice you to hold. see you guys. Nice to see the boys again. Nice to see the boys. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Man, Eric, you've been fucking, dude. You look in great shape, dude. <laughs> I fucking knew he was going to say something. I was like, I tell him, I go, bro, you're like, what? Losing weight? He's like, yeah, I never... <laughs> No, that that's that. Look, listen, look, look. I want you to take, you know, you know. There's a difference between like Jim working out and getting in shape, and like fucking and getting in shape. You see those abs that he's developing? That's from all the stroking he's been doing, bro. How's that dump truck? Do you have a bigger dump truck now Jesus from all that stroking, dog? Christ. Of course. Jesus. It's what happens when you stretch it out. You know? Jesus. He's he's just you know he's doing that 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 porn style you know. One leg to the side, showing it to the camera. It's a whole thing. Jesus. Oh, well, I do have a tripod. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. He's, Eric's he's, 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 making, black. he's making he's making very mature OnlyFans content, guys. Very mature OnlyFans content. It's just it's just him like dressed up, like sitting down doing mundane everyday things, like reading the newspaper. <laughs> Cleaning his glasses, and he's got like one million subscribers, bro. For and, one dollar, and, and his and his black girlfriend just coming across the stream, like, do you want some? <laughs> do you want some? She'll hit, and he's like, yeah. "Come on, slave daddy's dick." Oh yeah. my, geez. okay. See, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. There's I didn't. Mean, I, there, there, <laughs> I didn't mean that. Uh, I'm sure we should write all lady. these into like porn novels, bro. Like, we could be. <laughs> no, really- I know somebody who's a who's a smut who's a smut novelist. So yeah, I no, do. no, no, I, not, I no, 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 not out. smut. No, 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 not smut. Like, like, like those novels that that women love reading all the time. Well, they it's call called them smut. No. It's, it's called smut. smut. Smut is like porn. Smut, smut is, is like... It's, it's like erotica. Yeah, it's it's what yeah, it's erotica. called. It's smut. Yeah, we could right? do that. I know we could a girl, be millionaires, bro. So the the girl I'm dating, she's a smut like novelist. That's what she does for a living. She writes erotica. So what I'm hearing is that. You heard it here first, everybody. <laughs> I'm dating somebody. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going anywhere, but you know, at least I get to what are their pronouns? What are what are what are its pronouns? Uh as far as I know, oh, is human god. female. Oh my god. According <laughs> at least according to its lady parts. Okay. According to so okay. so basically so J- she's Jane doing she's doing research for her next is. novel with you. Is that it? Oh a hundred percent, bro. Oh, okay. Listen. Oh, a hundred percent. Okay. hundred percent. So she sent me an excerpt of something she's writing for for one of her things. And she was and, like, "I thought about it while looking at your dick." And, and, and no, basically, right? So she sends me this excerpt, and she's like, "She's like, what do you think of this? Is this too much?" And then I read it, and for the first time ever in my life, I was called a god amongst men. And I'm like, "You lying son of a bitch! He- Calm your ass down. Do not." Do not call me a god, let alone amongst men. So like, this is not the body has, of a Greek god. This is the body has, of a Puerto Rican god. A, <laughs> Puerto Rican god. <laughs> that just eats rice and beans and a capuja. That's yeah, what, bro, that's, bro, that's bro, I, yeah. I, I, I eat a capuja and sweat sazon. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, Jesus. <laughs> they come down from Mount Iluque. <laughs> from the top of El Junque, Daniel Gonzalez comes down. <laughs> the grave Taino warrior. His belly hanging. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I just want to know real quick. Uh, has that one dude with the email ever fucking you know? Oh my god! Uh, I need to know. Episode. No, no, dude. It's ever... a thing. It's a thing. We're gonna make it into a T-shirt. Fuck you to the guy who wrote the email. That's what we're going to do. Fuck you to, it wasn't even an email. It was a message. It was a oh. message. Oh. I do get a lot. I do get a lot of people saying, good sir. Good sir. Do you have podcast? <laughs> we would like to promote podcast. <laughs> we have, we have. Bots that that's, a good, get that's a good accent. Downloads. I like that. Yeah. 2000. 2000. <laughs> Their name is 
Mohammed Hajib or Hajib or Hadib or Muraya. There was one that was Muraya. I was like, bro, that, that sounds like mural in Spanish. Like, what is this? I'm telling you, bro. That's impressive. Did you just respond, alhamdulillah? Do you just respond, alhamdulillah? <laughs> habibi, 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 brother, brother, brother. I send you. Akura. I would. Oh I'll send you. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. My friend. Good, DVD good is only three dollars. Three dollars DVD. Look, it it's fake, but it's real. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're lucky I didn't Bro. answer because I went went Durka Durka. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know why is it that racial terms from the '80s sound way worse than the ones we use today. <laughs> that no, was that was from a do. movie. That's a movie that quote. From, okay, I bet you it's from a 1980s movie. No, Durga Durga is. Have you ever seen a uh, Matt Best videos? You no. ever seen a? You've never seen Matt Best? I know who Matt Best is. I've seen him on the Rogan podcast, and I drink his coffee. But like you know, never seen the video. No, it was that movie. Um, with the with the marionettes. Oh, Team America. Team America, that's it. Yeah, no, but Matt oh, the Team, Team America, Amer Super Team America, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, yeah, they recruit. They recruit to one guy, and he goes like, sends him into the, you know, to the terrorist camp, and he goes like, they're asking him questions. And he goes, Durka Durka Jihad. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen the ISIS button? ISIS button. No, I have not. I need to see oh that. My God. To see we this. might get I... we might get flagged for this, but fuck it. It's Matt Best. Oh my God. It's Matt you. Best. It's this is fair use. This is fair use. All right. That's all I got. If anybody has any questions about the new DARPA system that we're implementing, just give the tech line a call. Other than that, I'll be in my office. Oh Thanks, Rob. So in an attempt to Okay. okay. Pause it real quick. Pause, the pause, office, pause it real quick. I... Pause it real quick. Can we admire the beautiful human being that is Matt Best? Oh, no, no, no. You haven't seen him now, bro. Wait, wait till you see. You're going to hold on. Just just watch this. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm just talking in general. I've seen him on, on podcasts and his Instagram and stuff. But like this is he's a beautiful human being. He, he's a white boy. I want to get my credit up with you know <laughs> the only white boy dick that Danny would want. OK, yeah. it's either it's him or Chris develop in Aleppo uh, ISIS button. I haven't. An ISIS button. And, yes. Okay. Used it yet, but I guess you press the button and uh, let's go try it. Fuck it. Oh, yeah! Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 Hold on, it gets better. It gets better. It gets way better. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I need to do something about these chow thief Jeffs. That's two meals in one day. Fucking blue falcons running rampant over here. Quesadillas, El Jefe. Quesadillas, come on, man. Dude, look at that trigger discipline. That trigger <laughs> discipline. Look at that. That's some white boy shit. That trigger discipline is some like racist bro, look at white that boy dumb shit. placement, bro. That shit bro, is tight. That dude trains every day. You saw how he <laughs> retracted, <laughs> presented, triggered, disciplined, all hands of the surface covered. Oh my Go god! To... Oh, 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 oh. Good. Hold on. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I mean, morale is it's pretty high. Um, it's pretty it's high. high. It's it's pretty low. Some employees have been concerned with work productivity, but I assure you not. They're Hey, uh, Matt, uh, did you happen to see an ISIS dude run by? Did you, did you uh, lose an ISIS member, Eli? Uh, no, no. Ow. Uh, he's a veteran. He'll, he'll figure it out. <laughs> he'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, have you seen uh, the ISIS button, dude? Uh, you mean that thing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Thanks. Thanks, man, for Jeff! Oh lord. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. Would you love say it. The, uh, <laughs> a bit more dirty? Yeah, it's a little dirty around here. Oh my god. That's just job security. Some of the employees think I'm a little 
but I, I just like to have fun. All right, so it's like Marco Polo, but a lot more dangerous. Come here. Hello? 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 Get <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to that next one. We'll get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so racist. Office ISIS button. Am I right? <laughs> okay. So, so question. Okay. He has the ISIS button. What would be our button? That's what I want to know. What would be the ISIS button, bro? Do you, you understand? You okay, I get you two are veterans, but I'm not. You know, I no anybody. It's like, oh wait a minute. I no, let me not say. Let me not say that. So I feel. I feel. You're saying Al Qaeda, he, but here's he, here's what I think we should do. We should have a cartel butt. Okay. Why why you got to make it about brown people? Because well, you brown. think ISIS isn't brown. <laughs> Oh, just because they're over the border, uh huh. I get it. Any, uh -huh. any, any time we're in a pinch and Cartel, we need to come up just over any, the border. Any time we're in a pinch, right, and we need to write something funny, we hit the cartel button and a stack of cocaine just shows up. No, that's no oh, Jesus. My does it? God, no. Does it have to be a stack? A stack? How much? Listen, is Listen, if it's not the pile like the one on Scarface, I don't want it. Christ, no, why? Okay, that's reasonable. Because I want to wear Cuban chains with a leisure suit and a fucking AR-15 right oh, here with a rocket launcher, dunk my face into it and be like... So he wants... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. He wants to say cosplay. It. Say it. Don't make him say it. That's how we get flat. No, so Dan good. just wants to cosplay, but he wants a button to just basically... Put him in the cosplay without him having to get on a cosplay. That's all it is. Say hello to my little friend. No. Oh my god, dude! I gotta send you this. I gotta send you the clip from last night, dude. I was doing a show, and I was doing some crowd work, and I'm doing crowd work, and I'm doing my whole bit about being a Puerto Rican, you know, raised in Florida, or whatever. And like this group of black people were like, "Oh yeah, Poppy. Oh my god, I love Florida." Blah, blah. No, you don't. You don't love Florida. It's a fucking lie, <laughs> right? Like, don't don't lie to me. Right. It's like, why? Because Cubans hate Democrats. OK, and they're like, oh, that's not true. And I'm like, you love Scarface, right? You've seen the movie Scarface a million times, right? What if I were to tell you he was a Republican? Oh. <laughs> He's like, he hates communists. It's the truth. The dude is a fucking Republican. Well, the drug business is uh, very capitalistic, I have to say. You oh no! Hundred percent. You, you have to. You have to. You have to sell it. You have to make a profit, and then you have to set up supply lines, distribution. I mean, no comment. It's a true. It's it's a true free market. It's what it is. It's a true free market. It's a true, yeah, except they kill you if you start taking other people's. If you don't pay them, yeah, they kill that's you. Part, I mean, that's part I'm of just, the free market, dude. That's it's not the strongest. We'll survive. I'm just saying, if you don't pay Sears, what they do is they knock your credit report. You don't pay the cartel. They take your life. They take out a kneecap. Okay. No, they take your life. I'm just Stop. saying, I'd rather take a hit on my credit report. That's all I'm I'd saying. Take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> you think I mean, that if we press the cocaine button, some that cocaine's got to come from somewhere. Bro, I hope from the mountains of Peru. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hear that's good. I, I According to Scarface, it's the best. According for for a really it's, bad Cuban accent, Al Pacino says it's the best. Well, I, really I as, as long as we get it before it gets cut with fentanyl. Oh, oh yeah, God. no, no, yeah, no. That's that's just crazy though. That whole fentanyl thing, bro. Like, yeah, man. it's been around for a while though. I it's, know. Why it's, do oh, you, yeah, they put it in still. everything. But it's still. kind of like high fructose corn syrup. We just put that shit on everything. You just put it on everything. Oh, like, why? Why? So, so, so the conspiracy theory is, and I want to get y'all's thing on it. All right? Like the conspiracy theory is that it's the Chinese trying to kill us from the inside. Like they, yeah. like the yeah, I've English heard that. did with that. Well, like the English did with them with opium. Do you think this is true? Do you think this? I mean, is valid? I mean, we already do that yeah. with the food that we eat and the shit that we do to each other. I don't think. <laughs> I mean, do that. Well, technically, from what I understand, what the Chinese do is they ship the material to make fentanyl to Mexico, mm -hmm. and then Mex then the, then the cartel makes the fentanyl. So Chinese don't actually send fentanyl to Mexico. Well, you know, then problem solved. I'm just 
I'm just saying, sometimes the Chinese. Sometimes it's okay. It's okay. Around it, they'll work around the problems. Like we can't send fentanyl to Mexico. Well, it's okay. Just it's okay. The, the, the CIA oh, didn't invent. Oh, the CIA oh. didn't invent crack. They just hired a bunch of street gang guys and goes, "Hey, if you put baking soda and cocaine together and touch it to a little rock, the government you can would sell never it do for that. cheaper." The no, no, would... no. Of course, it would never do that. Come on. They wouldn't sell it for cheaper. No, they would never do that. They would never sell it for cheaper. No. Every time I come on here, I'm just like See, that. It's going to happen. Have you seen the skit of there's this uh, comic that he's talking about? Um, He's talking about how he doesn't like people who, who don't like it. Hold on. Let me just put, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Have you seen this, this bit, Danny? Hold on. Uh, I can't remember his name, Eric. Uh, it's called CTE. It's called CTE from what? From jujitsu? From jujitsu, serving the military, getting I beat as a child. I don't know. You take your pick. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> You're Hispanic. You've seen it. Thirty. Where is it? There it is. There it is. There it is. There, 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 oh yeah. There is. Ron Funches. Hope I, I love said. Ron Funches. Have yeah. you seen Ron this Funches bit? Is funny, man. Oh yeah. Hold on. Son of a son of a biscuit. Yes. Yeah. Back to the Patreon, everybody. Hey, hey Yellowstone, white. love white people. No, white no, Yellowstone. no, no. We do not, don't, we don't are not getting sovereign copper is, but I don't really care. Yeah, we're not getting no time on fire. Like if you're sexist or homophobic, or if you don't believe in conspiracy theories. I just don't understand how do you not believe in any conspiracy theories? I understand not all of them, not most of them, but you don't believe in any conspiracy theories? <laughs> <laughs> you just think the government's just batting a thousand and telling us the whole truth? <laughs> That's a strong stance to take. <laughs> and again, as I said before, I don't like talking about politics on stage or off stage. I don't like talking about things I don't feel like I'm truly knowledgeable in. But I do know this. Our government is placed in charge of all of its people. I'm a father who's been placed in charge of just one son. And I lie to that nigga all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. All the time. I like, oh never understood God. how people like didn't believe in like those conspiracies. Like I was like, you know, there are some. Lot. Here's the thing, and y'all know Alex. Some Jones that are pretty far fetched. I don't believe, but are pretty entertaining. Give me one. That I'm you sorry. Don't... I'm sorry. Say what you want. Alex Jones is more right than we care to fucking admit. Okay. <laughs> we are not Listen. going. Rabbit Listen, hole. we are going down this <laughs> rabbit hole right now, and I nope. hope. Nope. I am. Oh, come on. Did you No, this. Did you hear the one about uh, Germany before World War Two? Oh, help me, God. Please elaborate. OK. Supposedly, they the German engineers were way ahead of their time. They built a stealth aircraft before there was anybody even thought about it, before radar was uh, widely used. By the help and of the aliens? Of, uh, sure. A lot of other things. And supposedly they had a, spa a a crashed spacecraft where they got all this information and all this technology to do all that. And then they started the world war. They're like, we got alien technology. We can, we can take over the world. Here's the thing. All right. I'm not saying, here's the thing. I'm not saying. But they aliens. know that America had our own UFO. <laughs> here's the Nope. I'm not interested. In I'm way too <laughs> You're too sober for this. Way too sober for this. I am not entertaining this. Go ahead. All I'm saying <laughs> the aliens chose wrong. Okay. So if they I fuck mean, that, what else are they fucking? What do you mean they chose no, no, no. wrong? I think I, I think Mexico. you know, apparently apparently Mexico. and oh, then yeah. they they were in Mexico and they go like Screw this and went to the United States. Yes. Okay. You, I'm just you saying. see the bukkake covered uh, Mexican aliens? Apparently it was a cake. If, 
I don't know if it was a cake. It looks like an alien covered in bukkake, bro. Like that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, that's bro, what they do. To the that alien. That's what they fun. do. To their you know, that's that's exactly what the cartel does. They'll find something they don't like, and they're like, let's just rape it. You know, <laughs> God, Jesus <laughs> Christ. They will. They're either rape it, cook it, or sell it. One of the one of the three. Unfortunately, that sounds like the Mayans, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. And you know, it makes sense. You know, the Mexicans. Uh, haven't changed in a millennia. You know, they get tired of the whites and then they go, we are they going to sell them, cook them or eat them? You know, one of the three. I don't know. Well, at least they moved away from that human sacrifice thing. So did they did they did they don't you remember during like the height of the Bush administration? Oh, my God. All the videos coming out of Mexico of people getting stewed. Do you not think that's human sacrifice, sir? Where the fuck? Hey, 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 I believe there was eclipse that year. So even i'm going okay eric okay eric, i love you my brother i do but jesus dude i crossed the line you jumped it you know what i'm saying this is, this is i didn't know there was a line was there a line oh we God. had four yeah. comics we had four comics in here and it only took one minute for them to like get us flagged it took 20 seconds danny on the show to say something that i'm like yep that's that's a flag. That's a community guideline violation. <laughs> but it hold could- on, hold on. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can have five comics in there, right? But none of them are Daniel Gonzalez, and none of them think the way that I do. Said so, it true. They, they are white. Is, if, if that's what you're inferring, they were all white. No, no, nope. no, 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 no. They're just not fucking meant to be Jewish. sick like I am. Yeah. They're not meant to be sick. <laughs> that has nothing to do with race. Like, <laughs> I mean, I think it's one just of them me lives and- in a bus, bro. Dude, I, I, I used to. I was touring with freaking Brian Holtzman. So, yes, I've been fucking infiltrated by the dark thoughts of comedy in my brain. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I was you've been escorted by the police before and I had some dark thoughts. So, well, but you don't live in a bus. No, I don't and, live in. A- and on top of that, I'm probably the worst type of Puerto Rican. I'm the Puerto Rican that was raised in Florida. Yeah, so you're like, like I thought the worst ones were raised in Puerto New Rican. York. Like, no, that's... no, no. The, the ones in New York think they're Puerto Rican when they're not. See, I was born on the oh. island, but well, those are hybrid there. Puerto Ricans because they're cold resistant. So yeah, we need yeah, yeah. Those are nice. Race. Those are those are nice because they 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 withstand the cold. But here's the thing: when you're like when you grew up in a place like me, where it's like, hey, you're Puerto Rican from the island, also like you didn't really leave because you just went to another place that gets even more hurricanes than Puerto Rico. You just have to grow up <laughs> just a little bit crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, it's a hurricane. Look, so. <laughs> So you, like, so you can actually in Florida and you have a hurricane, you can actually leave the state. In Puerto Rico, not so much. No. Where the fuck would you go? Where the fuck would you go? It's a fucking island that's a hundred by thirty fucking two. That's here's my point. the thing. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Where would you go? And Eric, 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 in Florida, Eric, you go to Georgia. Shut, shut, no, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Only uh, pussies leave. Okay, I'm so good at this. I'm only so the pussies leave. This. Okay, listen. Oh in 2004, listen, I lived I in Puerto Rico and I felt safe in a concrete building. I tell you what, if you go to down to Florida, they do not have concrete buildings. No, okay? they don't. But somehow, most of us survive. And you know why? Because we're not pussies. That's why. All right. Yeah. We look at alligators and stare them in the face. It's like, try me, motherfucker. What's up? And they go, ah. Missouri people drink beer when the tornado alarms go off. I don't want to hear it. Sir, sir, you're afraid of the ocean. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen what the fuck is in the ocean? Sir, I no, love the ocean. Because we know less than 90 fucking percent. It's sir? a logical fucking fear. Sir, in the year 2005. I was in Panama City, Florida, on the beach right before a Category 4 hurricane hit landfall. And I was like, this is nice surfing weather. What? Of course it is. Missouri people drink beer when they see a tornado, bro. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> Well, we take, like, oh. we take shots every time it takes out a yeah, house. Yeah, but y'all, y'all don't have the boss to step in. Y'all don't have the boss to live in Florida. Though. Let's just be real. Y'all don't have the boss to live in Florida. You got, you know, you know, you know. I stopped myself there. If that's the case. I'm just saying, uh, uh, bullets don't slow down a hurricane or a tornado. Bullets don't slow down a tornado. Yeah. Do bullets slow down a hurricane, you think? You think you can Fuck just no. snipe? Like, you know what slows what? down a hurricane? Cardi. Goku, fucking I know. Goku, bro. Fuck Cardi. 
Bacardi. Bacardi. Bro, that is that is a good commercial right there for you, bro. Right there. Danny's just walking on the beach and he's just like, oh, all right, it's that time. And just fucking I'm pops walking up sideways like bottle. this. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking not... sideways. <laughs> bro, Bacardi, yo, what's up? Get your boy Danny. Oh God. <laughs> you know, that would be... Like seriously, the only thing that slows down a hurricane is the fact that you can buy tons of booze right before it comes and you just pass out. Okay. You can do edibles either... now. I mean, it's a different day. It's a different day and age. If I don't get liver cirrhosis by the end of the hurricane, I don't want it. Oh, my God, no. God, no. Mm -mm. That's reasonable. Yeah. No, it's horrible. That is horrible. Oh, yeah, and, and the mountain cocaine wasn't. And the mountain, no, that was even worse. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Jesus, okay. This just progressively escalates. So like, okay. Let's see how many times we get a community <laughs> guideline. I already know we're getting two copyright hits, so we'll see. Okay, okay. Uh, disclaimer for whoever is listening. This is all for entertainment purposes. These are all bits and not serious things. We are also using things called fair use. So yes, we did use a couple of clips, but guess what? They are not copyrighted because it's within fair use. We're reacting Matt, to those things. Matt Best, we love you. We love you, Matt Best. Matt Best, I live close yeah, by. Yeah, we do not need us. I live close by. <laughs> yeah, I do not want to get a cease and desist by Matt Best. So. No, I would cease and desist. No, I think, I, think, I think he would love this. If he saw this online, he was like, oh my God. His brother's been on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. We, yeah, you, well, you need to get the real guy. You know, you don't want to get the brother. You want to get the no. real guy. Come on. Man. Don't oh, say man. No, Yuli's Come nice. On. Yuli's dope. No, he I'm just, not saying he's not. He a, just retired uh, as a firefighter. Oh, wow. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that dude's never done drugs. So we told him we're going to give him an edible and put him on the podcast. Yeah. He hasn't come back. And he's like, he's like, <laughs> okay. And like, I texted, I know I texted him. I go, hey, when we giving you that edible, he goes, let me see. I was like, motherfucker, I know what you do every day. Like, stop bullshitting me. You're retired. Dude, that would be something because he's so goofy as it is. Yeah. Th that would be interesting to see. That would Ugh. be interesting. Ugh. Ugh. It'll, it'll go either one of two ways. It'll it'll light him up or put him to sleep. That's the only I think way the only going. the only thing that I would like to do is do an edible with Joey Diaz and probably Sir, sir I, think, I am I think I would I am die. afraid. I, dude, I think if look. He's older now, and I know he's chilled out, right? Like, he's, like, legit chilled out compared to past years. But it's like, if you're catching Joey Diaz from, like, 2017, 2018, when he was doing Stars of Death on his podcast, we're not coming out of there alive. Yeah. We're, no, we're going to come out alive, but we're going to have a religious experience. <laughs> and he's just going to hear him do the yeah, fucking national Jesus. anthem. Uh, oh, not, not, that, not some sort of Catholic coming to. Hey, find that clip of him doing oh, the Independence Day uh, speech. Find that clip of him. The doing what? Him. The Independence Day speech. Imagine yeah, getting fucking it. blasted while he's just going through some pro America bullshit. Wait, it's, what? Yeah, it's Joey Diaz Independence Day. Type that in. I don't think I've this seen is, that. This is phenomenal, bro. This this is more American than America itself. Just so during you know. the national anthem, he goes yeah. off during the national anthem. Wait, what the fuck? I am. Oh, Y'all have never seen this. I'm excited. I play. I've reposted this for the last three years just because. Joey Diaz. Okay. 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 This one. Yeah. Anyway, have a great weekend, and let me tell you something. Hit it, Lee. Cock stop. Oh God, he put the glasses down. <laughs> Get up, cocks up, because it's all over. Listen, we had a rough couple of months. Fucking Katrina's cousin Maria. The other one, Puerto Rico, Houston, fucking Florida. Listen, it's been tough up to now. The Earth Salute, motherfuckers. Mexico, uh, you know, the White House, whoever the fuck is going on. But it don't matter. They want to shoot. It's time for us to fucking shoot, cocksuckers. They want to get down and dirty. Don't forget who the fuck we are. You understand me? We're the baddest motherfuckers out there. You send the message to that fucking North Korean. He's going to be sniffing my dick and sucking my asshole. That's the focus. We're going to North Korea in like a year. It's going to be an island. It's going to glow in the dark. You know why? Because we're Americans, cocksuckers. Who the fuck do you think you're dealing with? 
Stop with the gun control. They're selling more guns than ever the last three days. Stop with the fucking whining. Stop with the Russians on Facebook. I don't give a fuck. Worry about yourself. Keep your eyes open. And get the fuck off Snapchat and fucking Twitter, cocksucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> bro, that's the motivational speak we need. Speak oh, we need wow. before going to war, bro. I, I, my dick is hard now. Like, God. Man. And salute. You had a salute. <laughs> I stood up. Eric took his hat off and started crying. Like, it was wild. It was insane. Bro, that dude needs to give a speech like that to, like, the Navy SEAL class. Bro, 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 bro. They just bro. need to put them like, I'm toxic. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Could you imagine, bro, graduating from Navy SEAL school and it's like, who gave your who gave your commencement speech? Oh my god! Yes, uh, Jesus, <laughs> dude, that is my favorite pro America speech of all time. I'm oh, sorry. that's not even pro America. It's like pro people. Like, <laughs> oh, it's fucking. Uh, it's so... you imagine that? The only, you the imagine... only thing that would have made it better if it was Jimi Hendrix playing the the. Oh National my god! That... Yeah, dude, <laughs> imagine, imagine, bro. <laughs> I saw that like for the first time like two years ago, and I literally like died. And every time I see it, I die because he's he's going in ham, bro. And it's been yeah. like three years since this shit, and it's still relevant. Jesus. It's still relevant. Yes, yes it's, it's insane. It's insane. I love that. I guy. know what I would do if I ever got to like hang out with. I know exactly what I would do. I know what I, I would, would be doing. Him. You would be doing edibles. I know that. No, I would. I would probably ask him about like history, like some Cuban history and stuff like that, and like him growing up. I'd be very interested in asking him about that. He talks about see. that. He talks about that way too much, man. You got to get a got to go in a different angle. He's talked so much about that. I think you would have to go in a different angle. So, what's it like having it? No, I don't know. <laughs> it should be like, hey, Uncle Joey. Show no, I am to... not. I am not calling him that. <laughs> I would call him Theo <laughs> Joey. Theo oh, Joey. Oi, 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 oi. Vaya, tío, mira, este, como tú, how do you uh, make the Cuban agro look the way it does and not get fired? Oh, my God, Jesus Christ. Oh, see, I thought you would have went, I thought you would have went a different direction. It's like, you know, no, make a that's, shit, that's, right? that's a legitimate you know question. Shit, right? It's like, how do I show my dick <laughs> to random people and not get fired? Because apparently you've never been fired from a, from a freaking scene. Oh, my it's God. Like... <laughs> Jesus. That is not a question that I'm entertaining. No, no. That is that is how a guest walks out, and then you're just like, ah, oh, fuck. If man. it's Uncle Joey, he'll do it for you. He'll do it. Listen right here, cocksucker. <laughs> Listen, first of all, you got to <laughs> fucking oh, grab God. the nuts and bring <laughs> them up and then present <laughs> just the penis. You know what I'm saying? You oh, can't my, show both oh, at the same time. Oh, my God. <laughs> That way you make him think it's a slinky. No, 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 oh no. Oh my god. We oh can't, my god. You no. just make him think we it's can't. extra elbow skin. It's fine. <laughs> extra elbow skin. Oh my god. Oh, uh, it's so bad. That's so bad. Oh my god. Uh, hey, so I got a few more minutes left with you. Tell me about uh this new show. Tell everybody oh, about man. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. the new show. So me, me and my boy Will Diaz, aka Theo Willy. Um, we started a podcast called EOW every other Wednesday. Um Man, it's just, you know, we're both comics. We both like pro wrestling and we like the ridiculousness of it. And now with all the stuff that's happening and, you know, combat sports and wrestling and them merging, it's kind of the perfect time to kind of combine our powers and just start covering the current events of all that. On top of that, we talk a whole lot of shit. We shit on each other the entire time. It's a it's a fun podcast. We, you know, we got two episodes out now and we're doing really well. Thank God. Uh, All right. And it's uh, the Instagram is up at EOW dot pod. Um, and it's it's a fun time, bro. It's a fun time. We uh, we cover, you know, just basic stuff, man. Just wrestling, talking trash. We we look back at like the old school Puerto Rican wrestling days of like Carlos Colon and Bruiser mm. Brody. We look we're doing a little bit of everything. Um, if you like wrestling, it's for you. If you like like a Bill Burr style podcast where we react to crap, that's it, we're for you too. Um, we're just Except it's two brown men. It's two brown men. It's that's two brown that's men. the equivalent of one but, Bill Burr. Two brown men. Uh, but, no, no. Here's a cool thing. It's also it's bilingual because we both speak English and Spanish. So if you don't understand what we just said, just wait five seconds and we'll say it in Spanish again. So you know it's gonna be great. Call me. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, man, it's it's fun. It's fun. We got some pretty cool guests lined up. It's gonna be an interesting an interesting time. So, uh, I really do urge everybody who either likes wrestling, UFC, or just likes overall shit talking, just you know, go ahead and subscribe. Hit us up. Hit a hit us a line, and you know, we'll figure it out how to incorporate that to the show and. It's it's fun, man. We combined our powers, like I said. It's it's turning out really good. So I'm proud of it. I, I am truly oh, good. Truly good. Ready. That's good. What is it again, Danny? EOW pod. EO EOW dot pod on Instagram, and it's every other Wednesday. You can find it everywhere you listen to your podcast at iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon. We've been it's been in the works for a while, and it's finally out into the public to be consumed and we're excited man there's a bunch of behind nice. the scenes skits there's a bunch of stuff we've been working on so we're slowly rolling all that out and i'm excited for it i really really am and i say that with the bottom of my heart like i'm really proud of this project and it's been good man it's been that's good good, brother. good. i'm happy for you that's good that's i good. like that and for everybody listening man we appreciate the support the podcast is still growing and moving on we're actually mm-hmm. extending here in a little bit so for everybody listening man just give us a follow on patreon that's Patreon at Regal Podcast. And on the YouTube, just hit the subscribe button and follow Danny. Follow Danny. Yes. Everybody follow, follow Danny. My personal, pod, my personal uh, podcast will be back eventually. But uh, my Instagram is at Boppy <clears throat> underscore the comic. Follow me on all socials, guys. Thank you guys so much. And boys, I love y'all. Y'all family. Thank you for always letting me come up here and act a fool, man. Thank you. We'll see oh, you. no. We'll we see love you every, soon, every time. We'll see we you real it. soon. Oh, yeah. Real soon. <laughs> Rico. Podcast. Bring your friends.